All right, on to our HubSpot notification gotcha of the week, Craig, and how to turn off annoying notifications. So have you been part of a portal, Ian, and then suddenly you get these oh, yes. unassigned live chat conversation notifications? All the time, Craig. And you're like, what, where did these come from? What did this start from? You know, why, why am I suddenly getting this? Well, it's actually worse than that because every user in your HubSpot portal is also Correct. getting them. Here's why. It's because someone has connected a new conversation channel. So maybe they've created a new inbox or they're getting um, a new bot in place or maybe, you know, Facebook Messenger. They've created conversations inbox. But they haven't set automation to automatically assign it to someone. So that comes in as unassigned. Kind of bizarrely, I guess I can understand why, but if you go into your notifications, by default, your notifications, your personal notifications, have these two options ticked by default. I think for most people, I, I think you're I right. Think this is the default. Yeah. So any unassigned chat conversation, everyone gets notified in the company, or not in the company, but anyone that's a user in HubSpot gets notified of it. And it's like, what? So that's why it's a bit of a gotcha. It'd be nice if for the portal wide, you could go in and say, by default, people don't get these. Um, you might say, oh, well, really, we should just be ass automatically assigning every conversation. Yeah, that's probably right. That's the ideal state to get to, but sometimes, you know, you don't get it initially. But that's why it's a bit of a gotcha. That's how to um, turn it off. You can also, I think a lot of people don't realize, see this at the bottom of the email? It says you can change it in your notification preferences. People somehow don't see that. They're so annoyed by the email that they don't see what's underneath it. And it can easily be turned off. But uh, if you want to preemptively get ahead of that, jump into your profile preferences, go to notifications, scroll down to chat and untick those ones. And you're good to go. And thanks to Tara for reminding me of this uh, as a gotcha. It's one of the things we now actually, it's part of our onboarding ignition for clients. We go in and get them to set up all their notifications, untick a bunch of things. Craig, quick question. Do you think that that's related to if if they haven't actually set up who's a, who can access a particular inbox? that they would be getting notifications like that? Or is it just site-wide? I'm just having a think of a customer that we both, That's customer that point. we both look um, after and I don't recall seeing those notifications. Right. Yeah, look, we've had this where people just set up a, a conversation in the inbox. Everyone's got access to it. Uh, and so, yeah, suddenly they're starting to get notifications. But certainly, oh, and also, especially if you're a super admin, you'll get them. Because every new client that we will go, I mean, we stopped doing this. I probably turned these all off um, as part of our initial onboarding earlier in the year. But we used to, every new portal we'd go into, suddenly I'm getting all these messages. So I think probably because I'm super admin. A lot of companies add a bunch of super admins. So yeah, maybe that's to do with permissions, yeah, as okay. you say. But well worth to be aware of. Yeah, yeah.